earlier. Hey guys, let us know. First person that jumps on here, let us know if you can hear us because we are testing I'm going to jump some, on on yeah. my computer over here. So if you guys hear it, yeah, let Sorry. us know. Hello, hello. Oh, good. I can hear us over there. Working. I'm gonna, now I'm going to mute us. Okay. We got some new equipment yeah. for tonight. <laughs> we think we're high tech. <laughs> we are very high tech. Um, Sorry. I, we, I just walked in from softball, so I'm still kind of getting my bearings. We lost really bad. Well, you were playing a team that you kind of. <laughs> we We didn't expect to win, but her husband's really mad that we didn't, even though we never did. <laughs> Anyway. Guys, tonight we are drinking Conundrum mm -mm. Wagner family. We love them. For those of you that have been watching us a while, you know how much we love our Wagners. Yes. For those of you that don't, the we Wagner family the Wagner makes family. multiple brands, All multiple our labels, and we've never had a Wagner that we did not enjoy. So just a little heads up. We're still waiting yeah. a couple minutes. A little fun fact about us. If we can find a reason to drink a Wagner family wine, we're going to take it. Yeah. And we needed a white. So, yep. Conundrum white blend. <laughs> hey, Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, sometimes, so I'm still getting um. Sometimes Kelly's situated. with my mom at, oh. when, they're, when they're bowling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know what you guys do when you bowl. Mm -hmm. Hey, D-Lo. Bowling. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You like it. I do. So again, I we haven't even jumped into a review yet. We're excited about this Sorry. one. I was just running late tonight. So I'm trying to catch up. Um, no fear. Get my taste on because I've not had this before. Tonight's the first time. That was sip like number two. <laughs> Some of you guys may notice that our background has changed. Okay. Let's talk about this real quick. All right. <laughs> Y'all know how I made fun of Carrie for her obsession with everything pumpkin, everything fall that began in August. Uh, we live at the beach. It is hot almost year round. It's freezing. I have fuzzy no. socks on. Just like anywhere, we did have a week of chilly weather. And by week, I mean a day and a half. So it did get a little cold. And at that point, she went full on Christmas. <laughs> full on Holly. Santa Claus is right over here. She's got a Santa on her front porch. Garland. Of, the tree's not mm -hmm. up. The tree's not up. I said, should I put the tree up? And you were like, no, I won't come over to your house if your tree's up. So I didn't put the tree up. Well, thank you, Jessica Jane. It is entirely too early. She's a widden. The widdens so far, based off of um, Facebook comments today, the widdens are anti-Christmas before yeah. Thanksgiving. It's just, I'm not a Grinch. Everyone kept calling me Scrooge and Grinch. I'm not. I just think that every season has its place. Listen. It's still fall to me. Guys. Especially in Florida. Today the high was 81. Mm -hmm. Nope. Everyone, go check my Facebook post. I had something <laughs> up today asking if it was too soon. November 1 for a Christmas tree. And like 90% of the people said, Abs just throw it up. It is time. It's not, but all the Widdens. All the Widdens <laughs> said absolutely not. So. Yeah. Yep. I am a sleepy Grinch on Saturday. It has nothing to do with the date, though. The day, yes, yeah, Saturday. Sundays. Not all of us. Oh, D-Lo. D-Lo is not on that wind train. <gasps> Gloria See? was on it, and Jessica was on it. Guys, and... I even have a countdown to Christmas going behind us. 53 days. The days are just flying by. Yep, my husband also said no. There's JD. He just joined. He also said no to... Um, Christmas trees. He just doesn't know it. I take that back. My husband does not care for Christmas or Christmas decorations at all. He would be fine if we never put. You guys have one tree. pumpkin up for Halloween. Oh, your husband said no too. Yeah, Lisa one. no. Wait, no, you didn't. Oh yeah, no. He did not say no. Did you not help her put up decorations? Kind of. He handed me the garland when I was putting it up on the counter, the cabinets. I know. I saw you took a picture and posted it on something. He did not rip it down. Help me put it up. Yeah. You know what? We're having a Friendsgiving at my house, and I just thought that it needed to be tis the season around here. Get everyone a little jolly. 
earlier. She- this is how you make me jolly. It is not with your Christmas decorations on November 1st. This one had a, you know, a bit of a rough day. She, it was a long day at work for this one. It was. She parked her car and I said, hey, if you need a little jolly in your life, come on over. And I got like just Nothing. straight mean mug. Nothing. Just walked straight in the house. Yeah, it wasn't good. Okay, mm-hmm. there is, um, yeah, my husband said decorating is okay on December the 24th. And what? His, his sister said the best decorations are none. Okay, but I am also the person that the day, no, I lied. day after Christmas, they don't come down. I take them down day after no, New I'm Year's. I'm a day after Thanksgiving to day after Christmas. It mm-hmm. is a very strict season for Christmas. I think that's just the way that um, my parents did things. Actually, can you scoot over because you're blocking my snowman? It is 81 degrees where we live, guys. There is no need for snow. (laughs) Oh, All right, my my dad just joined in here. Um, Dad, Carrie put up Christmas decorations today, and I told her absolutely not. I'm not a fan. Not until after Thanksgiving. You're lucky I don't have bells on right now. mm -hmm. Christmas Eve. He is a Scrooge. Yeah. My mother in law is probably listening to Christmas music right now. <laughs> she loves Christmas music. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right, guys. So we've been chatting about yeah. our house decorations. So we'll go ahead and get into our wine tonight. We are drinking Conundrum White Blend. Wagner um, family. We love them. We do love our Wagner family. Ooh, difficult to see here. Um, it's a California white blend. I think the majority of it are Chardonnay grapes, but don't let that turn you off. I am not a Chardonnay fan, and to me, this is not drink like a Chardonnay. She likes it. I do. And I think that that's probably the most dominant grape that's in this is a Chardonnay. And that surprises me. Yeah. Um, Anybody on here have has had Conundrum White Blend before? Let us know what you think about it. But um, it was probably a $25 bottle, so not super cheap. Not but yeah, I think bad. it's a Wagner family though. I think I most know. of their wine is at least 20. I don't know that there's yeah. really much that's under 20. Ella one. Mm, is it? Yeah. The mm. Pinot is not expensive. Okay. But still, I mean, it's still in the $20 range. It's not right. cheap, but yeah, no, I mean, it's, yeah. um, so this is also produced by winemaker John Volta. So um, after college, he started working for the Wagner family. He was bottling Camus. And then in 1988, we love our Camus. <laughs> Chuck Wagner Sr. decided to make a white wine blend. And um, he put Bolton on the job. And a year later, they had Conundrum. So I'm, okay. I can't believe it's been around that long. Since 1989. Well, that was the other thing. They said that back then, well, I guess not back then, but more in the 70s when Chuck Wagner Sr. was primarily running the vineyard, he used to take wine and literally like blend them. That's so fun. Just to make the science nerd in me loves that. (laughs) I get it from a mama. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so just kind of fun. I think that's why they're so great at their blends. Yeah. They've been doing it for a while. Yeah. So pretty cool. I know. I like that. Um, so some of the aromas that we got out of this particular blend were more fruit forward than probably any other wine that we've done. Yeah. It was lots of, uh, pears and apples. And to me, it, it had the aroma and the um, flavors of almost a homemade or a local vineyard wine. Like not quite the heavy flavor of like a muscadine, but it did have some similarities to me. That's what I got out of it. A lot of pear, pear wine. That's what I would call it. But a really good flavor. You can no, tell yeah. it's a well-built yeah. blend. Um, Those of you that didn't get to see it, it's very yellow. Like I think that the when she said it was a Chardonnay grape, basically, and I saw the glass, was like, I was oh. like, uh, mm, mm-hmm. I'm not going to love this, but I, I do. I do love this. So one thing I have to say though, like my mom and I personally, we don't love like any kind of homemade wine or um, small vineyard. Yeah. Some of those I'm a little turned off by generally because I just taste the alcohol in them. This is not like that. Yeah. So when we say homemade, it's not hard for me to describe. Bitter. I guess. Yeah. It's not bitter. It doesn't just taste like See, a lot of alcohol. I'm not wine. hit with that. It's, it's the flavor of 
the fruit. 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 Like somebody made this yeah. just with real fruit shoved into it. I mean, it's, yep. Yeah. It's and really good. One comment that we had, um, Carrie's husband gave it a try right before we went on. And he said that it tasted flat. So almost like a sweet sparkling wine. Yes. That was flat. And I was like, ah, I kind of get that. It is just kind of a very mellow flavor. It's not crisp at all. Right. There's it kinda no lingers. sparkle to this. It's no. not a bubbly at all, but it does have that same, Why does it I guess taste that, flat? that same sweetness of a bubbly sweet wine mm -hmm. without the yeah. bubbles. And it's also not a sweet wine that I'm like, I almost Ooh. get like the minerals in it. And what were you saying about how it's, um, so if you get an earthy tone while drinking this or smelling it or anything, a lot of people get kind of a wet stone and it's funny that we, that yep, that's we it, found this fact because we're always saying like we make fun of oh crushed gravel like in <laughs> tasting sheets sometimes people will say the craziest earth tones and yep. we just taste like granite we generally make fun yeah it tastes like <laughs> who's gnawing on granite it just doesn't make sense in so spare time it thing that some people do get a wet stone taste from this and that is due to small portions of this wine being fermented in concrete tanks so it kind of just Yep. take some of that with it and it just gives you a little bit of a yeah just a little bit of a stone um, taste somebody asked my sister is it buttery like their chardonnay no it's not it's not buttery. i expected it to be because the blend has such a heavy chardonnay grape in it and the color i, I don't know if you saw just it is just yellow it's like straw yellow but it's not buttery at all i don't I wouldn't say it all because it is got it does have like that flat. It has like the smoothness that yes. you get with a buttery Chardonnay. No taste of it at all. Right. It's, it's also good. not oaky. Some people describe this as oaky. Mm -hmm. I don't get and an either. oak from this. No, I think it's very fruit forward. I think it's good. Um, I. You know where I would buy this? Where? Like to use again is if I had a friend. I have a handful of friends that like wine, but they don't like my Napa cabs, you know, they, yeah. they don't drink that heavy of a wine. Yeah. This would be a great one You're right. for them. Yep. And there's some white wines that I'm like, if I'm going to drink this, I'd rather drink a red. If I was going to drink a white wine with somebody like that, I would go with this. Yep. I like it. I don't know if that's too wordy and confusing, but I think I, mine would have to be, um, again, I only drink cold, cold wine when it's warm outside and I'm need something outside otherwise I drink um, typically red but I like this with fruit I, I would oh, drink it yeah. like a brunch wine yes I think it's a really good brunch wine absolutely you don't want a mimosa but you're not quite ready to get on the heavy stuff I think mm -hmm. that this is a good option definitely or even like you know that point of the day when maybe if it's warm outside or you're like about to start cooking dinner. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have your dinner wine yet. You're not ready for that. Well, that you want something one, yeah. light and easy. This would be a good one for that yep. point in time. I think it's good. Um, for $25, it's a little bit higher for an everyday wine. Yeah. But I don't think I would drink it every day just because it is really sweet. Yeah. That's not that sweet, but it just fruit forward. It's sweeter than we're used to. Yeah, that's it. I think that's the big bit. I really like it. It's good. It's really smooth. I think any wine drinker would, could drink this and enjoy it. I agree. Yeah. Hey guys, while we have you all here, hey guys, share this video. Why don't you put your pumpkins up and get out your Christmas tree? Oh my gosh, my name's Whitney. Can I add something? <laughs> what? <laughs> She's my numbers girl. That's all I've got on her. Can I add something? Can I add something for you? Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> She's so math smart. Like I, we will be talking about something business related and I'm like, can you help me out here? <laughs> I've got the creative end of like that. I will throw new ideas at her, like out of just nowhere. Craziest ideas. She's like, how did you, how did your brain get there? Where did you come up with this? Mine's the opposite. Yeah. Mine's thinking in Hers is thinking terms. in business terms. When I give her a crazy idea, she's like, okay, but this is going to cost this, this much <laughs> upfront, this much to maintain, this much to renew, blah, 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 going on and on. And I'm like, how 
figure that out later. Did yeah. I just give you a face bomb? <laughs> I hope that was to her, not me. I bet it's to you. Anyway, probably not. Um. So once again, we did not discuss what we're doing next week, did we? Nope. Oh, I have it on the calendar. Pull it up. We've Please got hold. a running calendar. Please hold. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you guys hear us okay? Because we are trying out some new technology tonight. Very <laughs> official. <laughs> All very official. So, um, someone comment, let us know how well you can hear us. And then I can adjust things and see if you can hear us better. Whoop. I'm just kidding. It's fine. Oh, yep. We're getting thumbs up. I guess that means they can hear us. Um, anyways, we still have to give, a we still have a giveaway too. We do still have a giveaway. We do. Who wants a giveaway? Hmm? Anyone? Giveaway? Who oh, wants free we stuff? Gonna we were going to push sparkling. But I'm going to have softball again next week. Later. Right. We were supposed to do, yeah. Mm. You go ahead and look at the address on that. Um, we were supposed to do sparkling tonight at Wine World, but with softball, we just thought that that was going to push kind of close. We didn't want to be like running in the door, setting up our awesome, cool new technology that we didn't even know how to work yet. And, you know, oh, yeah. hey, Clint J wants a giveaway. It says, uh, so what does is... Faith, so does Gloria. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Mm. Did you borrow the TNL sound system? Basically, yeah. You know, we're basically TNL. Awesome. Glad you guys can hear us. All right. So we've got a couple of people that want so a giveaway. We'll just do champagne here or sparkling wine next week instead of. Doing it. We were going to do it on the road at our, um, at our spot, Wine World, but softball mm -hmm. will be over in a couple of weeks and then life kind of calms down a little bit for us. Yeah. We might start traveling again at that point because we really need time to get there and set up. Yeah. And it makes it hard when I have softball. Until obviously, we have to test things out because when we tried to go live last time on location, um, we found out last minute that we didn't have internet. <laughs> Mildly important. Well, so. that was because there was, was something else going on that was yeah. taken on the bandwidth, but still. We didn't have that, so yeah, made it kind of um, difficult. We'll do a we'll do a sparkling next week. If anybody's got any suggestions, I have one in mind. Um, we need to call. I've been wanting to do Amanda that. from Short Thing Cigars because she has a great one. Lafitte's. Oh, oh. you want to do the other one? Either one. Amanda at Short Thing Cigars. She's our girl for um, trying new stuff. So her favorite champagne is a Lafitte's, and I've had it there twice with her. And it is just so good. So I would love to uh, review it and let you guys know about it. It's not an expensive. It's fourteen or fifteen dollars, but it it drinks expensive. It's a really good one. So I would love to review it live and let you guys know what we think about it. Um, I think you've had it, but I've had it with sure her when I, I wasn't with you. I know probably yeah. when I was there. So um, we could do like a. What are you gonna throw at me? <laughs> I'm talking about for the giveaway. So we could do, we have a bottle of direct sellers wine mm -hmm. that we wanted to give away. And then we have a couple glasses. We could give away a glass. We do have a glass. With the bottle. Um, maybe we could do some sort of like quiz from our fun facts. A quiz? A pop quiz, everybody. Speaking my language. Put on your, oh, you've got your glasses on. Hold on. <laughs> I can't see the softball if I don't wear them. Oh, we could just do something easy. Who's, I feel like I should write this down. So Let's I can do tell this. You. How about tomorrow? We're going to post a picture of the bottle that we're going to drink next Wednesday. And next Wednesday, when we're drinking it, whoever's drinking it with us. Fine for 100. <laughs> Winner. Gosh. Mine was going to be a lot more fun than that. Someone so was going to win right now. Tomorrow, um, check out our social media. We're going to post what we're going to be drinking next week. And then if you're drinking it with us, we'll do some kind of fun fact off the bottle. Um, and whoever chimes in on that is the winner. Yeah. You win a bottle, but a then in a glass. I think we have enough that we could even do the same kind of giveaway next week, maybe. Like another bottle. Okay. Yeah, that'd be and probably another glass. I think we have a few sure more. We do. Um, so next week we're gonna do a pop quiz at the end of it. So next week they have to listen. They have to be there at eight thirty, so they can listen. Okay. 
And it won't be something crazy hard that you need to like write things down. I promise. Take notes. Don't take notes. Document everything that we say. Nope. It might be something as silly as like, <laughs> what color shirts were we wearing last week? Gray. They're gray. <laughs> Hold on. These are the kind of things that Carrie finds and buys us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to be my friend? <laughs> She has tons of Santa Clauses <laughs> and pumpkins. I just put away. If anyone needs a pumpkin, let me know. <laughs> I just, I just put my pumpkins out like two days ago. Seriously, she did. <laughs> I was like, oh, you got a new pumpkin. She's like, no, I've had that. Why didn't you have it out then? Well, because it was at my in-laws. Oh, they okay. found it and they were like, oh, you'd probably like this for Halloween. So I put it out and I had two little pumpkins by my door for trick or treaters. And then my only trick-or-treaters were her kids. And she almost lit them on fire. Well, I can't help it if her Kate gets in the candle. She put the candle under the doorbell. Tell her ring the door. <laughs> trick-or-treat if you can find me. <laughs> if you can so catch a fire and make it through the house, then you get a treat. <laughs> you just have to stand outside the door and yell, ding dong. <laughs> Only your kids. I put them there just oh, for your man. kids. Yeah, and then she like filled their buckets up with candy. I knew I wasn't going to have. She even got a hug from one of them. Mm -hmm. it's pretty surprising. I made a special bag for my nephew and then her kids, and that was it. Yep. Although when we left, we left last night and went and trick-or-treated a little bit with our nephew, and I had set our candy ball outside the front door, and when we got back, there was a handful missing. Mm. Was it you? It was not me. Then someone came over and got candy. I put a bowl outside as well because we also left. There was not much missing. I even had stickers in it. No one took the stickers, mm -hmm. but um, I yeah, we didn't put a little it. note. Take some. Or take and all. And our whole neighborhood it. full of kids. Every yeah. house. Except for mine. I know. Next year we got to plan this a little better with the neighborhood. We'll put up someone flyers. Someone took all the Snickers. <laughs> oh, we have a bunch of Snickers. Yeah, half of ours. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> JD, I'll send home a bag of Snickers for you. Okay, little baby not our Halloween candies. All right, next week. Okay, we'll post tomorrow. next week's tomorrow. Yep. It will be there. Look yep. for it because you have to go get it. And if you have it, you know what? And we could maybe make it to where they don't have to. If you want them to drink it with us, yes, or at least buy it. Yeah, drink it with us next week. Drink it, drink with, it us. with us. Okay, it'll be something affordable. Provide wine. <laughs> I tried to give her some of my wine last night. She didn't want any. It's leaving. It wasn't very good. All right. Okay. Bye, guys. We really liked our conundrum, so go check it out. It's really good. Go give it a try. Yeah. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.